Outlook just got smarter. Managing multiple accounts and folders in Outlook feel like a never-ending scrolling fest. But with the new features like favorites pane, color-coded folders, and the ability to pin favorites to the top, things just got a whole lot easier. Before these updates, my favorite pane was cluttered, folders from different accounts all mixed together, sometimes with the exact same name. My workaround was adding initials to the folder so I can just tell them apart. But Alec now has a much better way to organize your favorite list. And I'm going to share my workflow with you to give you some ideas on how to manage your favorite list. I have navigated to my mailbox and let me set the stage for you. If you are new to favorites, you can add folders, groups, people, categories to your folder list. So I manage multiple accounts and within my favorites, I have a combination of my folders as well as Adele's folders listed here. And normally I have this set by priority, right? So it could be in any order between the two accounts. So now that Microsoft has given us the ability to color code our folders, I want to organize my favorites just a little bit better. So I know in my calendar that I want to stay consistent with the color format. Teresa's in green and Adele is red. So let's go back to the inbox. First I want to do is add my inbox, change its color, and add it to the favorites. So let's either click on the three dots for more options, or you can right click and change color, and I'm gonna change it to green. I'm gonna repeat the steps, right click, and I'm gonna add it to favorites. And there it is. Notice that my name is not listed there. I'm going to repeat those steps for Adele because I am um, the delegate for Adele. I'm going to click on the three dots because that's an alternative way to get to this menu. Change the color to red. Repeat those same steps and this time add it to favorites. Once I've added multiple accounts Notice how that I see both names, which is gonna be very helpful. So this time what I wanna do is rearrange my folders based on the inbox. I'm gonna drag Teresa all the way to the top, the review the folder structure. I see that this is Teresa's, and I know Dan is also part of Teresa. I'm gonna take Adele, move hers into position for her accounts. I can easily look at this list and I know these are Teresa's and also these are all Adele's. I think I missed some. Here is Adele, here is Adele. A few more refinements that I would do. Notice under Adele, she has some folders here. Only in the favorites folders would I go ahead and change these colors to align with her inbox. Just so, again, that it's easy for me to recognize what belongs to her. Um, one of the things that I could do is just change the color for that category so it aligned with Teresa's um, mailbox. But that's one thing that I would do. I also want to click on this. Notice that when that mailbox when that folder is active, that it will have a full color. If I go back to the inbox, notice how you get a half color there. If you want to change the color back to a neutral color, go ahead and click on the more options, change color, and choose automatic. So another feature that Microsoft has added is allowing you to pin your favorites so it stay visible. So if you go to view, under folder pane, favorites, and choose pin to favorites, watch how your 
favorites, you scan and scroll through, your favorites are locked. And so if you are concerned about not being able to see your folder structure down below, just go ahead and collapse your favorites. And now you can look at all these folders listed here. And if I want to look at my favorites, I go ahead and expand it. I find Teresa, I find Adele, and I am good to go. Pretty cool. So what are your thoughts? When you use these, you know, rearrange your folder structure um, so it's easy for you to manage. If you have other ideas, make sure you add them in the comments. Now, go work your magic.